welcome to the Christmas episode of Netflix and Chill. And the movie that we're reviewing today actually wasn't our first choice. This year, Netflix, not very good when it comes to Christmas movies. I mean, last year, they had, uh, what was it, Christmas Vacation. That's the one I wanted to yeah, do originally, a classic movie. movie. Uh, they didn't have that. Uh, they I wish do... they had Love Actually. Love Actually, I saw it last year, I will admit, great movie. I wanted to review that too. But this is our third choice. <laughs> we are reviewing The Nightmare Before Christmas, a Tim Burton classic from 1993. Roll that clip! Christmas time is buzzing in my skull. Will it let me be? I cannot tell. There are so many things I cannot grasp. When I think I've got it, then at last. Through my bony fingers it does slip. Like a snowflake in a fiery grip. So the description of this movie, if you're like the last person who hasn't seen this. Uh, I didn't see it until last night, what? so. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. Anyways. So Jack Skellington, uh, the pumpkin king of Halloween Town, discovers Christmas Town, but doesn't quite understand the concept. I love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies, although I kind of have a beef to pick because I don't believe it's really a Christmas movie. No, that's what I was confused about it too, is like Halloween, the opening song is This Is Halloween, <laughs> and then it goes into Christmas. It's it's really confusing. It's kind of like, this movie reminds me of like when you walk into Costco in like September and they've got the Christmas decorations right <laughs> next to the Halloween decorations. Yeah. This is the movie equivalent of that. Well, actually, a lot of people don't know. Did you know this was a Disney movie? I did. I looked did it up in the description. Okay. Well, a lot of people didn't know that it was a Disney movie because when it was released, Disney was like, we don't want to put it under our list of films or advertise it as a Disney movie because it was too scary to be put, to be related to Disney, which is weird because it's not scary at all. I guess at the time, it's more weird than yeah, scary. Yeah, it is, it is weird. It was very, like, I remember like 10 years ago, remember when like emo was really popular and then everyone started getting like Jack Skellington tattoos? <laughs> That's what I thought of the nightmare. We're talking about you, thought. we're talking about you, Dean Valentine. <laughs> Because he has the same body type as me. 
Yeah. So it's great to see that in a lead role. <laughs> uh, Sally was a cool uh, character too. She's actually uh, voiced by Catherine O'Hara. You know her best as the world's worst mom in Home Alone's <laughs> 1 and 2. Great Canadian actress, SCTV. A ton of credits I could list, but I'm just going to go ahead and review this movie. I'm actually going to give it a nay. Excuse me? I fell asleep during the movie, so it's getting so a nay get for me. So you can get yourself a nay. <laughs> The reason why I'm giving this a nay is because this is the Christmas season, a time to hang out with your family and not spend it on Netflix. It's a nay from me. All right, well, well, I do agree with you there. I do have to say that this is one of my favorite movies ever since I was a kid. So I have to give it a yay. I would give it like a whole yay, if I could a whole Kanye, a whole Kardashian. I would give it the whole family. If I could, because I love this movie so much. So that's what I'm going to give it. Alright, thanks for watching the Christmas episode of Netflix and Chill. And like most things in this city, we are taking a two-week hiatus. And we will be back on January 9th with a brand new thing to review on Netflix. Have a good Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and take care. Merry Christmas!